President Nixon signed an educational amendment to prevent sex discrimination in educational institutions. Although sports were not specifically mentioned, the amendment would permanently alter the course of women's athletics. Before the law had been passed, a few historical events led up to the gender equality law, Title IX. Since the 20s, women have been fighting for their rights and have used their voice to make an impact. Bernice Sandler, the godmother of Title IX, played a big role in forming Title IX. Sandler was a big women's rights activist along with other important women that helped. The impact that Bernice had nationwide was she first pointed out the sexual harassments on her campus toward women and made it her mission that women need to get treated equally with respect like men get. When it came to sports, women had no opportunities to get athletic scholarships and they were lacking faculties, supplies, and fundings. Title IX formed in 1972 with the help of the Senate Birch Bay and the House of Representatives Edith Green. It became a struggle for representatives to fully commit with the law. Some representatives would try to make amendments to lower the power of the law, Title IX. Amendments were getting rejected and soon the Congress came to an agreement and they wanted to make new laws and support and be more beneficial for Title IX. The short-term impact Title IX had was the schools who were against females playing sports had stopped and the sexual harassments that women had to deal with stopped too. For the long-term impact, Title IX has greatly affected women and girls around the world. Girls get a future with sports and carry out their dream of being an athlete or wanting to be great at something, whether it's sports or other things. Women have now earned the respect they deserve and now are thriving than most men and boys. I I feel like I've always known about it. I don't remember like when I officially learned about it, but I knew that it was to make sure that girls and boys were able to both play the same amount of sports in a high school. I think girls just got sick of being told that they weren't good enough or that they couldn't play sports because that was a boy thing. And just in general, the equality between men and women in the United States and how unfair it is with job wages and other things that it finally trickled into athletics. Um, high school sports have changed my life because it's, I've created like a second family and those people will probably be like in my life for the rest of my life. Um, honestly, I'd probably just be working. I don't really have a life outside of sports. That's all I do. So. I'd probably be like a mess up I guess because sports is like that backbone of where I like I need to be in life and it keeps me motivated so I feel like I wouldn't like be good in school. Um, I feel like girls should be able to play boy sports. I mean it shouldn't even be like a boy sport or girl, sp girl sport because I feel like first of all girls could be stronger than guys like that's like hands down. Second of all I feel like we could excel better than boys so I just I feel like that's stupid. Um, what would I be doing right now if I wasn't playing sports? I don't know. I think it'd be fat. <laughs> I think it'd be fat, to be honest. Um, sports just keeps me in shape because I played three different sports in high school. So I feel like if it wasn't that, then I'd be like really bored and fat and just really out of shape, to be honest, because I wouldn't even work out <laughs> any other way. <laughs> Um, high school sports changed my life a lot because one, it kept me eligible, kept me out of trouble. Um, it makes a culture in school with other athletes. Um, you build relationships with staff members, um, and you become like a leader. You have a role, um, and everybody. If I didn't play high school sports, I probably wouldn't have got offered to play college basketball on a scholarship. I'd probably be working somewhere else. Um, Mapleton has offered so many um, opportunities for me, so if I didn't get to play any sports in 
high school, I don't think I would have been where I am today. I mean, I would have gone to college, but I don't think I would have had that opportunity as a collegiate athlete.